Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting video guys. Here you see that I have done the integration between Cloud Code and Coen3 Coder. And here you see this is the Coen3 Coder from Open Router that I am using. And because it is the best provider and uh, many of you requested me in my last video of this Coen3 Coder that uh, please do the integration between this Cloud Code and Coen3 Coder. And also I searched on YouTube that if anyone have made this video or not and i found that no one have made this video uh, on youtube that how to integrate this coen3 coder with cloud code because cloud code and this coen3 coder is a great combination where you will get the best coding model coen3 coder capability and also this cloud code agentic capability as i have discussed already in my previous video that coen3 coder it is an agentic coding in the world and it is beating this Kimi K2 model and also this Cloud Sonnet 4. Uh, this is the paid model but this uh, open source Quen3 coder model is actually beating all of them. So it is very much necessary to use this Quen3 coder type of free model open source model and we will do this integration in a simple way. Now before using this Quen3 coder in Cloud Code, make sure that you have installed Cloud Code. If you don't know how to install, I have already made a video on our channel Code Digit. So please watch that video. Or if you want to see the other YouTubers video, then also you can do that. Just go to YouTube, search that Cloud Code installation, then you will find many video. Cloud Code installation. Okay, there you will find many videos and many people faced uh, issue to install this cloud code on Windows. So for them, I will recommend you uh, to use my videos also and uh, you also you can comment down below in the comment section. I will make a separate video. Okay, that how to specifically install cloud code on Windows. Please comment down below. Now, let's see that how to use this Coen3 coder. So first of all, go to this GitHub repository. This is the cloud code router. This is simple GitHub repository. Go to this and just scroll down below. So this is the first step. Install this cloud code. If you have already installed, just skip this first step. And then now just copy this one. npm install minus g cloud code router. Okay. So just copy this and open your terminal. Okay. So cmd. I am on my Windows machine. Just uh, paste it and press enter. Now it will install this CCR means the cloud code router. Now we will do this uh, integration. So if you go to this uh, this folder where you will find this folder dot cloud uh, code router. Okay. So here you see that I am in my C drive. Okay. So go to your C drive again. I am going go to your C drive and there go to your uh, users and then go to your profile and there you will find this uh, folder dot cloud code router click on it and there you will find this uh, this text document and json source file so just open this json source file in your vs code okay and here you see that i have opened my uh, this config file in my vs code and here just paste it like this from the description so go to this video description and there you will find this whole json file so copy it from there and uh, just paste it like this okay and now here you have to do one modification instead of this api key you have to provide your own api key how will you get that just go to this open router okay and here you see that this is the open router and there you will find this coin3 coder and uh, click on your profile and there you will find these keys click on these keys and there click on this create api key and here give any name after that click on this create and you will get one api key and after that paste that api key here okay and now your uh, work is done and uh, after that here you see that coen3 coder is there and this model coen3 coder is there so it will use that coen3 coder model now just save this file now after that if you want to see the logs of this uh, model that what is happening in the background then in that case you can open this text document okay so open this text document cloud code router and here you see that i have 
uh, got these logs that what is happening which model is getting called that is that provide uh, chutes uh, uh, something that can be uh, the pronunciation and this model is coin3 coder so actually if you go to this open router there you will find this provider name so if i scroll down below here you see that under this provider of this coin3 coder this is the provider chutes and it is actually the best provider currently because that you see that the uptime is uh, very much uh, great and also you see that the input and output cost is very much less if you see for the other provider like uh, alibaba open source the input price is 1.5 dollar and the output price is 7.5 dollar but here in this case the input and output price is very much less and also if you see here the input and output uh, token price is very much less and it is actually less than uh, this Claude 4 model also but this coin 3 model uh, sorry coin 3 coder actually beating this Claude sonnet 4 so we should use this model uh, coin 3 coder right and the actually the beauty of this open router is that uh, they actually switch to the different provider which is getting the which is giving the best performance here you see that open router route request to the base providers that are able to handle your prompt size and parameters and fall back to maximize maximize uptime so here in this case this chuts they are the base provider so that's why uh, it is pointing to this this uh, provider chuts okay now uh, how to start or how to run this so here you see that i have asked this question hi and i have got this answer hello how can i help you today so one thing is that and here you see the welcome to cloud code now so just uh, i am closing this session and i am starting it from the beginning so that you can understand so go to your any of the folder so go to your project folder go to your project folder where is your project folder here you see that sas landing page this is my HTML, CSS and JS file. Go to this project folder and open this terminal or CMD. And here just run one thing, which is CCR code, CCR code. Remember these things. Now press enter. That is your service not running, starting the service. Now click on this enter, yes, proceed. Okay. And now here you will see that welcome to cloud code, welcome to cloud code. But now it is pointing to this local server and this local server is uh, this is the base URL but now this local server is using this model coin3 coder okay this local server is using this coin3 coder model by default so now if I show you uh, let me open that again that you see now if I just write hi it will give me the answer okay so here you see that hello how can I help you today so in this way you can interact with your code base uh, and uh, you can use the cloud code capability and in the background you are using this coin3 coder model you are not using this cloud code model you are using this cloud code agentic capability and uh, you are using this coin3 coder model okay so if i show you just scroll down below by default where you see that the number of tokens and all of these logs you will be able to see here you see this is the last logs chat completion all other things and remember one thing that uh, you can use any other model also instead of coin3 coder but that model should have the agentic tool calling capability if that model doesn't have the tool calling capability then you should not use that model here otherwise you will get the error remember these things this coin3 coder model have the agentic tool calling capability that's why we are using this model inside cloud code okay so i hope that this little video explanation is helpful for you guys and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and yes if you want uh, integration of kimi k2 model with this uh, cloud code then just comment down below and comment section